One always bit is hard. Yeah, well, not for Paul. Sorry about uh, this morning. I, I didn't know you'd be there. That's fine. See you soon. I've got to say, it was nice, you know, being out, not having to worry about hiding from anyone. You should try it. Hi, gorgeous. How are you, my little cutie? Maybe she's going to help me. Come on, you're the one who led her on. I think you're a really nice girl, I do. I get it. Test this plan for you. I think you really need to read it. Philip's will. It says here that he needs $123,000 to Jared O'Donnell. Why would he do that? Can you remember the things we used to do? I'll draw your picture, send a message to the moon. Here I am. Okay, we're happening. It's uh, it's 9.08 in the a.m. on the morning of Jared and Trace. What, what do we call this anyway? What? Wedding to the sequel, weddings related. I mean, technically you guys have done this before, right? <laughs> yeah. Hey. Hey, babe. Uh, it's a wedding stuff. Let's keep it simple. Did, did you react to that thing in my face? Excuse me, Bridezilla. I heard that. Sorry, if you're not coming, just uh, give Trace a call, okay? Sorry, still not answering. <laughs> Dumping the hair and makeup, lady, two days before the wedding. Good one, buddy. But Emily has to come. Oh, sweetheart, I saw how she did your hair. I'm sure I can do it. She can't do it. Mm, you know what? I'm going to go to Gabby's. Uh, if anything else goes wrong, I don't want to know. And you better get a move on if you're going to pick up Uncle Walt. <laughs> oh, he's probably tanked already, eh? <laughs> no, I well, uh, thought he was late at Christmas with Aunt Jen. Aunty Maureen and Nana Cass. Hey, hey guys, <laughs> the man was just being affectionate, you know? Yeah, well, there'll be enough feeling at this wedding without that. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, how about you? You ready? Yeah. yeah. There you go. Turn it off, Stav. It must be a mistake. The terms of the will are pretty clear. Jared is entitled to $123,000. But why? I mean, why would Philip leave Jared all that money and nothing to his child? The will doesn't actually say that. It's just that Jared will get his money first and then you and the baby get everything that's left over. Do you think Jared knows? You'd have to ask him. It's crazy. Hey, you never know. Maybe it's a loan that Philip's paying back. Or maybe there was some kind of agreement between them. What about? It's just so much money. Tess, are you concerned that maybe Jared knew about the money and did something? I don't know. Hey, you know what? I think you should talk to Jared about it. It's his wedding today. Well, obviously not today. But what am I supposed to do? Just go and smile politely? I can't go and not talk to him about it. Then you probably shouldn't go. Hello. Is everything all right? Yeah, we were just talking about what we're going to wear to the wedding. Superintendent Hamblin. Didn't know you are in the area. Deborah McManus came to see me this morning. She's got a problem. She knows she can contact me. Well, according to her, she rang you yesterday. And the day before that, you didn't get back to her. Oh, well, I feel bad about that. Well, you don't think she deserves answers? It's been nine weeks. Well, she's made a formal complaint about the investigation. Well, you can't be surprised at that. Daniel McManus, the other son, you know he's one of the suspects. Yeah, yeah, I've read the case notes. We also know that Angus McKinnon, otherwise known as Tiger, sold the drugs that were found in Philip McManus's system. Now, he's a known associate of Daniel McManus, and suddenly he's vanished into thin air as well. But you haven't got enough to build a case against Daniel McManus, do you? Yeah, well, when IT cracked the encryption on the deceased laptop, I'm sure we'll have all the answers we need. You got two weeks, Simon. If you can't get a conviction by then, you're off the case. Rebecca Coulter? Uh, okay, I'll be there right away. Don't tell me. An emergency. I promise I'll be at the reception as soon as I can. See you. Bye, babe. Oh, hi. Hi. Hey. Hey. hi. We didn't expect to see you. I'm going to let it right down. Not about to start now. 
What's up, Shampers? Yep. Yeah. Em, I'm really sorry about that, oh. His loss, huh? And thanks for today's invite, but I don't think I'll come. Might be a bit uncomfortable. But you said we could dance. Mm, that's really sweet, Zoe, but I don't want to make your Uncle Addo feel bad. Oh, Emily, Addo really likes you. He's just not ready for a relationship. But you guys could still be friends. <laughs> that never works. Yes, it does. Look at Gavin Paul. Uh, yeah. Great. And you know what? Friends can sometimes turn into lovers. You know, you don't have to try to make me feel better. I'm not. I know Addo feels really bad about the way things ended. I know that. Fact. How? I work with him. I sense the vibe. So you reckon I should come today? Yeah. There's no harm in being friends, Em. And friends can turn into lovers, right? You just have to take the first step. What's your problem? Getting hitched once wasn't enough for you. Ah, Uncle Walt, thanks for coming, mate. When are you going to bring a date? Yeah, well, it didn't work out. Well, well, what happened, Uncle Walt? Nice lady. But she was getting ideas about settling down. I could tell her. I'm a citizen of the world. I can't be with only one woman. <laughs> no offence. Oh, hello. See, the ladies have arrived. Hi, Sammy. <laughs> That? He's already watching you. Good sign, huh? I created a monster. Tess? Oh, a million miles away. I was wondering if you'd want a lift to the wedding. Actually, I'm not sure that I'm going to go. Why? You feeling all right? Not really. Being around all that marital bliss isn't exactly a recipe for feeling better. I just wish that Philip was here. I've got so many questions to ask him. You know you can always talk to me. I do, and I appreciate it. Well, what are you doing? Going or staying? I'm sure Jared and Tracy would want you there. You've become quite close, haven't you? Mm. Well, if you decide to go, you just let me know. I told you I loved you. I promised to take care of you, love, honour, and cherish you. <laughs> and after eight years, I do know one thing. Things change, whether we like it or not. But the one thing that hasn't changed is my love for you. And I want you to know, now, here, that I give myself to you completely for the rest of my life. On our wedding day, I promise to love and to trust you. <laughs> the obedient thing? Well, that never was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> when I talked about trust, I thought I knew what it meant, but now I get it. We're just at the beginning. So, in front of our friends and family, today I renew my vows. And anything that the future throws us, we'll get through it together.
come after all? Yeah, I was going crazy at home. Besides, I need some answers. Yeah, of course you do, but it doesn't have to be today. <laughs> Jess, you came! Come and meet the happy couple. You know how I feel about you. I love you both. And, um... I wish you all the happiness for the future. That Brian and I both do, of course. Um, that's that's enough. Go away. Oh. <laughs> I know Uncle Wall's probably got him first, but you look amazing. Thanks. Oh, I wasn't sure about the dress. Oh, it's awesome. And just so you know, I'm not doing an Emily trying to come on to you, all right? In fact, today's made me realise that I am so not ready for another relationship, let alone marriage. I can't imagine you walking down the aisle as good as you look in that shirt. Emergency. Uh, it wasn't anything serious. How's everything with you? Yeah, fine. Sucks being single at a wedding, though. Oh, unless there's some really cute, you know, group to mm -hmm. Mum, right? And she seems to think that I need to find someone before I turn 35. <laughs> That's the cutoff for uh, backpacking tours, <laughs> not love. <laughs> Maybe I should book one. Trust me, you'll find the right guy soon. And just try to avoid the ones that are married with kids. Sometimes being single is nice and easy. Mm. <laughs> hey, Tess, any advice for the newlyweds? Um, I hope the future is everything you want it to be. And, um, I just... Stella! What about you two lovebirds? When are we going to see you guys walking down the aisle? Um, <clears throat> that's not really a conversation we've had. Surely it's on the cards, right? Stav? Well, you look at Jared and Tracy, surely it's got to make you think about it, huh? Uh, hi guys, congratulations. You've built a wonderful life for each other and I'm, I'm sure it's just going to get better. Jeez. Oh, Gabby, Gabby, Gabby. Uh, any potential husbands on the dance floor? Yeah, I'm looking at him now, Stav. <clears throat> Hi. Ads, um, look, I've been meaning to talk to you. I think I may have put my foot in it with Emily before. What did you say to her? Well, I just said that you guys could be friends and that sometimes friends, maybe, maybe they could turn into lovers. That'd be great. Now I'm going to have to break up with her all over again. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. I, I just wanted to cheer her up. Hey, don't knock all the chicks, mate. She could teach you a thing or two. You're an idiot. Go away. Hey, thanks for coming. I just hope this isn't... You know, too hard for me. I know Philip would have been happy for you. Yeah. Actually, I'm surprised that we didn't get to meet sooner. He said that you were thinking of coming to visit. Yeah, we did talk about it, actually. A lot. But, um, I don't know, I guess life just got in the way. He still thought of Manly as home. Yeah, no, home was where you were. We never really had any doubt about it. And I really loved you. Thank you. I, um, I'd better go save my wife, I think. Excuse me for a sec. Any mention of the will? Honestly, don't think he knows anything about it. So, um, what do you want to do now? I don't know. I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation. Mrs. McManus. You need to see this. Look, I know you're unhappy with the progress of the investigation. I'm trying to help you, Detective, read the document. Um, I, I guess that's my turn. Um, didn't really know what to expect today. Hmm. I know that when we first got married that I loved you very much. And now uh, I love you more than ever. And ever? And ever. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. We done? Oh, that's time. Mm. Gross in the out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks so good. 
Um, that'd be because I just threw out my game. Okay, what's going on? So, um, you and Ado, is everything okay? Well, don't worry, I took your advice. I'm really in mean, nice and slow. Oh, I don't think that's actually what I said. Emily? Hey, Pops, come on to the panel song. Let's dance. Okay. Hey, hang on, Em. I don't. Oh. oh, Pops, what do you reckon? You think Ado's going to end up in one piece or what? <laughs> what do you want? We need to talk. It's my wedding day. Yeah, it'll take five minutes. Come on. That's your call. We can do it here or we can go outside. Sorry, babe. It's going to take five minutes, all right? Just stay here. What's that about? You know, Pops? Okay. You got me out here? What's going on? McManus's will. What do you know about it? Nothing. Why would I? We left you over $100,000, Jared. 123000 if we're going to be precise. But, no, it's a mistake. You're wrong. Here, have a look for yourself. The will was drawn up about a week before he came back to Australia. Why wouldn't he tell... Did you kill McManus to pocket the money? No. All right, no, you're wrong. I didn't even know about the money. The night McManus died, you were with Beck Quilter. The same night she sent a text message telling him to keep his mouth shut. Oh, we went over that. You know what that's about. Yeah, and your stories matched perfectly. And then there was the drug dealer. The drugs in McManus's system, the dealer that disappeared the same day you saw him in my office. I went and saw Tiger for the same reason you did. To find out information about what happened to Philby. And what about your wife? Does she know about you and your ex yet? Is that a threat? I don't have to make threats, Jared. I tell Tracy anything about what happened that night. Mate, I'm still trying to work out what happened that night. Secret cab rides in the middle of the night, meeting in fancy hotels. You and Beck. Trace. You okay? Trace, just leave it. Where's Trace? Oh, well, she just left. She just grabbed her car keys and took off. Is everything okay? Give me car keys. What? Now. Let's go in. When are you ready? When are you ready? Tess, is there any chance that Wilson knows about the will? That's what I'm going to go and find out. Do you mind hanging out here for a while? There's something Gabby and I need to do. Are you going to tell me what it is? No, but I love you. Come on, let's go. You went through my room? Not intentionally, no. And I suppose the album, the will just fell out of it, did it? What was it doing there in the first place? You have no right to tell anyone. Someone had to tell the police. Well, that was a decision for me to make. So you were going to tell them? Jared is a good person. I know that he wouldn't harm Philip. You don't know anything, Tess. And until I find out who murdered my son, I don't trust anyone, and neither should you. Philip's will is evidence. I was right to show it to the police. And for Jared O'Donnell's sake, I hope he's got a good explanation. Don't come near me. You and Beck. What were you doing the night Philby died? Okay, look. Beck left the reunion to go and see Stephen at his hotel. All right, she didn't know it, but she went to the wrong hotel altogether. <laughs> she didn't have any money to go home, Trace, so she, she called a few people and I was the only one that answered. Ah, oh, you were the only one. You're outside with the others, so I just went and picked her up in a cab. Nothing happened. I wouldn't lie to you. Come on. No, but you just you keep secrets. I didn't tell you because I didn't want to upset you. I knew you'd react badly, and I just. Oh, I'm sorry, Jay. Is this my problem? No, of course 
Mrs. Hall. That's not what I meant. I, I, Why did Wilson barge into our wedding? Apparently, Philby, he left me money in his will. A, a lot of money. I've done nothing wrong, I swear to you. Is he up? You should have told me from the start. I wish I did. I'm so sorry. But what we said today, the vows we made, you know, that's all that matters, babe. Come on, it was a perfect day. You know it was. I love you so much. We've got... We've got everything. We've got each other. We've got Zoe. Please, can we just move on with our lives together? I made a promise today that I would trust you. And I'll honor that promise. I thought maybe, but I hoped I was wrong. I'm here for you, okay? I think it's time. Beck, it's positive. I'm pregnant.